Have you ever wondered why the Israel-Palestine conflict is one of the most enduring conflicts in the world? Let's take a journey back to the early 1900s when the region we now know as Israel-Palestine was under the dominion of the Ottoman Empire. A tapestry of religious diversity, it was home to Muslims, Christians, and a small population of Jews who lived together in relative harmony. But change was on the horizon. A sense of distinct national identity began to emerge among the ethnic Arabs in the region. They started to see themselves not just as Arabs, but as Palestinians. A unique national identity was taking shape. A sense of belonging to a land that was increasingly becoming contested territory. Meanwhile, a significant movement was gaining momentum in Europe, not too far away. This was the Zionist movement, which asserted that Judaism was not simply a faith, but a nationality that merited a nation of its own. For many Jews, who had endured centuries of persecution, the dream of a Jewish state seemed like the only path to safety. They turned their eyes towards their historical homeland in the Middle East as the most promising location for their envisioned state. In the initial decades of the 20th century, tens of thousands of European Jews relocated to this region. Then, after the conclusion of World War I, the Ottoman Empire crumbled. The British and French empires, the new global powerhouses, carved up the Middle East. The British took control of a region they named the British Mandate for Palestine. At first, the British permitted Jewish immigration. However, as more Jews arrived, establishing farming communes and settling in, tension between Jews and Arabs began to escalate. Violence was not uncommon and both sides were guilty of it. By the 1930s, the British started to limit Jewish immigration, a move which gave rise to Jewish militias. This marked a turning point in the history of the region, setting the stage for what was to come. What happens when tension grows and control slips away? As the early 20th century progressed, the eastern Mediterranean region known today as Israel-Palestine experienced an influx of Jewish immigrants. These new arrivals, seeking refuge in a homeland, settled into farming communes, but their growing presence started to stir the pot of tension with the local Arab population. The friction between these two groups wasn't just a simple disagreement, it was a deep-seated conflict fueled by a clash of national identities and claims to the same land. Violence, unfortunately, became a common language with both Arabs and Jews committing acts of hostility. This escalating violence, coupled with the increasing Jewish immigration, led to a decision by the British, who had taken control of the region after the collapse of the Ottoman Empire. In an attempt to regain control and suppress the tension, they began limiting Jewish immigration. But as is often the case, this action had an equal and opposite reaction. Jewish militias formed, prepared to fight not just the local Arabs, but also to resist British rule. The situation took a darker turn with the advent of the Holocaust. The horrific genocide led many more Jews to flee Europe for British Palestine, further fueling the growing conflict. The world watched, its gaze fixed on this small, yet significant piece of land, as the tension continued to escalate, setting the stage for a major international crisis. The world was watching as the conflict continued to escalate. What if a solution meant dividing a region into two? This was the question posed by the United Nations in 1947 when they approved a plan to carve British Palestine into Israel and Palestine. Jerusalem, a city sacred to Jews, Muslims, and Christians alike, was to be internationalized. The Jews, who had endured centuries of persecution, saw this as a victory and promptly declared independence as Israel. However, the Arab world viewed this as yet another instance of European colonialism encroaching on their land. This led to a widespread Arab rebuttal and the declaration of war on the newly formed State of Israel. Their goal? To establish a unified Arab Palestine in the place of British Palestine. The war that followed was brutal and marked by significant territorial gains for Israel. They expanded beyond their designated boundaries seizing control of the western half of Jerusalem and much of the land reserved for Palestine. This expansion led to a massive displacement of Palestinians, creating a refugee crisis that persists to this day with around 7 million descendants of the original refugees. In the aftermath of the war, 
Gaza fell under Egyptian control and the West Bank, named for its location west of the Jordan River, was taken over by Jordan. This division and war marked the beginning of the protracted Arab-Israeli conflict. It was a conflict born not out of ancient religious hatred, but a struggle over land and identity that echoes through the decades.